Praise the Lord, everybody. God is good. This morning we thank God for another beautiful morning and we thank Him for another beautiful day. This morning we come to, amen, lift Him up. Why? Because Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. This morning we thank God for mercy, His grace. We thank Him because we we live, He live, He live, we live. And I was thinking about this song we sing sometime, He lives. And it says, I serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. Anybody know that He's in the world today? Amen. I know that He is living, whatever men may say. I see His hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always near. Amen. He lives, I tell you. He lives. Christ Jesus lives what? Today. Why? He walks with me and talks with me. A long life, narrow way. He lives, I tell you. He lives, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Do he live in your heart this morning? Hallelujah. He lives, I tell you. We thank God because he lives, you and I live. This morning, we come to worship God and praise God and amen. Give him amen glory. Amen. So this morning, amen. I'm going to ask you. You can come on up here. We got some ladies. They're going to. Give us a selection, amen, this morning. Amen. thank God because that God just needs some people who are willing amen and they're willing even the last minute amen I thank God I take courage 
You know, God say, if you take this one step, he'll help you take uh, two steps. Anybody know that God will help you? Amen. To do what needs to be done. Amen. And see, when you're doing it for the Lord, my brothers and sisters, amen, you're going to be rewarded. Because God, amen, never fails. He promised to, what, be there for us every, what, turn and every step of the way. So we thank, amen, our women this morning for doing, amen, this for us. Amen. To God be the glory. And as I say, he lives this morning because, amen, he lives, amen, in our hearts. And this morning, we have so much to thank God for. Amen. Thank God because he's been good to us. Have he been good to you this week? Amen. Thank him because he has poured out his blessings upon us over and over. And the Bible tells us it is good, amen, to give thanks unto the Lord. And what? Sing praises unto what? His name. Amen, O Most, most High. It's, 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 that's, it's, it's a good thing. And sometimes we say, well, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to sing. But sing, amen, what God puts on your heart. And when you sing, amen, give him your best. Why? Because he gave us, what, his best. And so this morning we are here to give thanks, amen, and praise to the Lord on this beautiful day. And I hope and trust that all of us had a successful, a good week. Amen. And we thank God for allowing us to come out this morning on this Amen Sunday. So this morning, I want to say our musicians are not with us today, but we know God knows. Amen. And let me tell you, my sisters and brothers, in this life, the Bible say we will have what? Ups and downs. We have good days and bad days. But be of good cheer, Jesus tells us, he have overcome and we can overcome also. So this morning, amen, we're going to continue, as I said, in this service this morning. And uh, as I said, I, I, I thank God because he's in the world today and i want to sing that no we don't have this yet. i serve a risen savior he's in the world today i know that he is living whatever men may say i see his hand of mercy i hear his voice of cheer and just the time i need him He's always near. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life far away. He lives, he lives. Salvation to him born. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart and all the world around me i see his love and care and though my heart grow weary i never will despair i know that he is leading through all the stormy blasts the day of his appearance will come at last he lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along my narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to him born. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Listen to the third stand and say, Rejoice, 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 O Christian. Lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujah 
to Jesus the King, the hope of all who seek him, the help of all who find. None of the is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lived today. He walked with me and talked with me along that narrow way. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lived today. He walks with me and talks with me along the narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to him for. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you don't need a choir to sing. The Lord will give you a song. And this morning, I thank God because he lives. And because he lives, amen, we have a right. Amen to the tree of life. My brothers and sisters, it is good, amen, to sing unto the Lord. Amen is a good thing because so many people, amen, they want to sing, but their voices, amen, this morning, is not, amen, where it need to be. But we come thanking God because he gave us a voice and he gave us, amen, another opportunity. This morning, as I said, we thank God for, amen, you and you who are here this morning. And I pray that, amen, you came to hear a word from the Lord. Because I don't know... My brothers and sisters, this has been a hectic week for a lot of us. Amen. We thank God for the beautiful weather he sent us. And then we thank God for the traffic on the road. If you've been like I've been this week, I tell you, it's a lot of traffic was on the road. And it's still on the road this, this holiday. And so, again, as we say, we certainly thank God. Amen. Because people, amen, are going to and fro and... Let me tell you, if you're not watching, amen, my sisters and brothers, it's easy to, amen, get in an accident. So we thank God for keeping us under his cover this week, and we thank him for his, amen, protection. So this morning, we count it all joy, because the God that we serve, amen, he is worthy, amen, to be praised. Amen. I say he's worthy to be praised. And so this morning, amen, we need to count what? Our blessings. And what? See what the Lord have done for you. And I know he did something for every one of us this week. Amen. And we got something to tell him. Amen. We thank him for. Amen. Because you know what? Someone said it could have been what? The other way. Amen. It could have been the other way, but God saw fit to let our moments, amen, roll on a little further. So this morning, amen, we're going to continue, amen, in the service this morning, amen. I'm going to ask you to, amen, let us go in prayer this morning. Our Father, as we come, we come on no strength of our own, but we come because you have allowed us, you've been good to us all week long. You allowed us to go in and you allowed us to come out. God, we just want to tell you we thank you for God, how you watched over us all week long and thank you how you watched over us all last night. God, and then early this morning you touched us we're able to see a new day. And so we are here this morning on your promises that God, whatever we need, we can act and we can believe and have faith that God, you will do just what you said you would do. So this morning, we just want to thank you, God, for, Lord, another beautiful day that we are now enjoying. Lord, somebody went home last night, 
and somebody didn't get up this morning somebody Lord have lost loved ones somebody God needs you right now and we know you God are available 24 7 and all we have to do is call on you and so this morning we just want to tell you we thank you for bringing us out this morning and God we just come to praise you and give you the glory and honor that God is due your name so help us this morning to oh God look to the hills from whence cometh our help for our help come from the Lord Lord we say thank you for God the sunshine, the cool breeze that, Lord, you breathe upon our lives. So help us, Lord, to count our many blessings and see what the Lord have done. Now, Lord, bless us as we go through this service this morning. Keep us. Amen. In your care, we ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And before we go, we have announced some announcements this morning. Amen. I think some announcements we want to get our announcements out of the way you have the announcement when you come now at this time everyone. To our, to our pastor, first lady, deacons, trustees, members, and friends, the announcements for today are as followed. We will celebrate our pastors, our pastor Reverend Theron M. Bellamy's 35th anniversary on next Sunday at 10 a.m. We're asking all members to be present and invite a friend to our outdoor service. We will wear our shirt t-shirts. Those of you who has it, you know what we're talking about. If you know someone who has not had the vaccine yet, please encourage them to take it. There are sites set up now where you don't need a, an appointment. Uh, if you are interested or need to know, give me a call and I'll tell you where the sites are. I'm trying to stay on top of where the sites don't need a point, an appointment. This concludes our announcements for the day. I turn it back, turn the service back in the hands of the pastor. Thank you, Sister Green. Thank you. Amen for those announcements. Amen. Please, ma'am, please, sir, let us do what amen have been asked of us. Amen. And God will bless you. Anybody know God will bless you when you follow his instructions? Amen. So this morning we thank God. Amen. As we say, uh, for all the good things that God have, amen, sent our way. And you know, time really fly. And I think about this year, I say, you know, so much have happening in this, happened in this year, and so much happened last year, and we got something to praise God for. You know, some people, some churches, they're still closed. But you know what, we've been open we might not have been inside, but we've been open. And that's a blessing. That's a blessing for us. And you know, my sisters and brothers, uh, it's good when God's people get together, God's children get together. Somebody say, when we get together, what a time, what a time. And we certainly thank God because God has smiled on us here at St. Joseph. And we got so much to thank God for. And so, my sisters and brothers, let us continue to look forward and let us continue to go forward because God is good and he, God have a plan for us. And let me tell you, amen, it's not over yet until God said it's over. And so this morning, we got to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. So this morning, continue to pray for us. Continue to, amen, pray for one another because in times like these, we need one another, my brothers and sisters. 
we need one another, amen, to encourage one another to keep on keeping on, amen, amen, to God be the glory. This morning I want to call your attention to the book of Luke, that second chapter, the book of Luke, I'm sorry, the book of Acts, the book of Acts, the second cha chapter. Acts the second chapter and I want us to look at verses 42 amen through 47 amen when you find it you have it just blow your horn let me know amen Acts 2, beginning at verse 42, it says, And they continually steadfast in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continually daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord, somebody say, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should. Amen. Amen. We thank God for his word this morning. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we thank God because we are here this morning on this beautiful day. Here we are two weeks, the second week after Easter. Amen. The scriptures say the crucifixion. We saw the crucifixion. Amen. Is over, was over. We see that the resurrection was over. At least all the celebrations, my sisters and brothers, amen, is over. Uh, and, and, and when all that is over, I want to pose this question to you this morning. What do we do? What do we do? The church. What do the church do after Easter? Last Sunday, as we said, we know, my brothers and sisters, people were rejoicing. Happy Easter. Happy, Res Res Happy Resurrection Sunday. Resurrection Sunday. But today, what do we do as Christians? As the church. And the church is not this building. The church is you and I, my brothers and sisters. And God has something, amen, for us to do. We have studied. Amen. We have studied about the road to Emmaus. And the Bible says these two men who met Christ there. Let me tell you, Christ will meet you on your road of emails. Wherever you are going, wherever direction you're heading, let me tell you, Christ can draw near to you. Anybody know that Christ can show up while you are, amen, relaxing while you're riding? God has a way of showing up. Amen. And this morning, we thank God because when that was a day like never before, I said, my sisters and brothers, and these men were walking back to Emil's. And the scripture says, amen, these two men that were quiet, it says, and their heart was broken. Have your heart ever been broken? my brothers and sisters, they thought 
as they were walking, they thought they had lost everything. They lost their hope. And sometimes in life, when life throws you curveballs and punches, sometimes you think you can't make it. But let me tell you, my sisters and brothers, that's when Jesus can show up. He can show up to encourage you to keep on going forward. Don't stop. Don't turn around, but keep looking forward. Keep moving forward. And that's what the church is supposed to be about. My brothers and sisters, we are, amen, a light set on a hill. We are to continue to let our little light shine. Just as these men, my brothers and sisters, was traveling this dusty road, on that long, quiet walk was the man they all had put their hope in. Amen. You know, they put their confidence and their hope in God. But I come to tell you, when you put your hope in God, amen, you're putting your hope, amen, in the right person. Because he can, amen, come through for you and I. I mean, he can, amen, do what nobody else can do. Am I right about it? My brothers and sisters, yes, these men, these two boys, uh, men were walking the road. And they were thinking of what happened just the other day, just what, amen, they experienced. And you know what? They were, amen, lonely. And let me tell you, in this world, you can get lonely my brothers and sisters, you don't have to be alone, though. But Jesus said, I will what? Be there with you. And what I like about it, my brothers and sisters, God will walk with you on your road. Whatever road you are traveling, God will walk with you. Not only walk with you, but he will guide you. Anybody know he'll guide you? Amen. He, he'll not only guide you, somebody say, he, he'll take you by your hand. And he'll have a conversation with you. Amen. And let you know that it's going to work out for your good. Do I have a witness this morning? Yes, my brothers and sisters. What do we do after Easter? Yes, we got to continue as the church. My brothers and sisters, the Bible say, and they continually steadfasted in the apostles' doctrine. Amen. They were what? Fellowshipping. Amen. Why is it that people don't like to fellowship? People say, I'm, I'm, I'm a member, I'm a member, but you never show up. Fellowship is important. I need you, you need me. And we all need Jesus. People, they name, we put our name on the book. We never show up until special days. Well, my brothers and sisters, the Bible say they had all things in common. Amen. If you are a believer, if you have been converted, you have been saved, touched by the Lord. The Bible say, not what I say, Forsake not ourselves to simmer together. We got to come together, brothers and sisters. Why? Because we can't do this thing by ourselves. A lot of people think we can do it by ourselves. But let me tell you, when we walk together, we can encourage one another. Somebody said, when I fall down, somebody can pick me up. When you fall down, somebody can pick you up. Am I right about it? Well, I come to tell you this morning, God want us, St. Joseph, the body of Christ, to come together. Amen. Don't put all the work on one person. Amen. He gave us gifts. All of us got a gift. And then, my brothers and sisters, when we don't use it, we'll lose it. You and I got gifts. We're supposed to help our sisters and brothers along the way. I miss you last Sunday. I miss you. And when I don't see you, I miss you. But if you are connected to the body of Christ, like this church was, 
after all that they went through, they, they, they seen what Jesus had went through and did for them, they said, we got to come together. We got to continue, amen, to draw near to God. Somebody say, if you draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. Hello, somebody. What we have to do after Easter? My brothers and sisters, we got to lay down our differences. Amen. We got to lay down, amen, all this petty stuff and put that aside and say, you know what? God bless me. He been good to me. He made a way for me. When I was sick, he healed my body. Hallelujah. When I didn't see my way, he made a way. Hallelujah. When I was broke, he put money in my in my bank account. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters, when, when, when I needed joy, he, put, he gave me some joy. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Can he do it? Yeah, you ought to shout it out this morning. Because God want us, amen, to know that when we come together, my brothers and sisters, as the body of Christ, we can do more together. We can do more to, together. Let me tell you, and I say God has blessed us. We have, amen, we're not a big church, but let me tell you, we got some people who love the Lord. And when you love the Lord, you're going to go out on a limb. Hello, somebody. <laughs> I say when you love the Lord, you'll go out on a limb. Amen. You, you, you say, you know what, it's not about me. But it's about them. Hallelujah. I want to help them. The apostles had a job. In other words, the pastors have a job. My job is to what? Feed you the word of God. Amen. I know sometimes they say, I don't want to help old pastor today. And, oh, he don't know why he did. He mailing in my business. No, that's what he's supposed to do. Mail in your business. Because if we're going to be connected, my brothers and sisters, we got to be, amen, in unity. We got to have, amen, the same thoughts. You know what? I can do something. I can do something. You can do something. We all can do something. And all of us don't have the same talent, my sisters and brothers. But let me tell you, this church, amen, the Bible says, then they that gladly receive his word were baptized. If you have been baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Look what happened. When we come to church, when we come to church, when we study the word of God, and when we, my brothers and sisters, do what the Lord have asked us to do, it's nothing he will not do for us. God will work on our behalf. Somebody say he'll show up when you least think. Do I have a witness? The Bible say they steadfast in the apostle doctrine. In other words, they were in the word of God. They was falling along with the pastor. Say the pastor is, he's preaching the word of God or she's preaching the word of God. Amen. And we got to take heed to it. He's speaking to what? Our hearts. He's telling us, my brothers and sisters, let us continue to hang on in that. We know last Sunday was a bad Sunday. Uh, uh, it was a bad day for our Lord and Savior. But let me tell you, the day, hallelujah. He's not there in that grave. But the Bible says he have brought, risen. He lived. He lived today. Anybody know he lived? How do you know? You ask me how I know he lived. He lives within your heart and my heart. Do I have a witness? Yeah, the Bible says they gladly receive the word of God. Hello, somebody. And they were, they, they, they were added to the church, oh, 3,000 souls, and they continually steadfast in the apostles, the apostle doctrine and fellowship in what? Breaking of bread. And in prayer. As I said many times here, 
as a boy, young lad growing up, I watched my parents and I watched the older people of this community, how they live. They work hard. They had to work my sisters and brothers hard. But on Sunday morning, it was something about them. They, they'd say, I, I got to go to the house. I got to go to the house of the Lord. I want to hear a word from the Lord because I've been told in all week sometimes. But sometimes you lose your, your concentration. Sometimes you lose your train of thoughts. But they say, I, 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 I got to go to the house because there's something there for me. Hallelujah. And they made it to the church house. They didn't have bricks and stones like we have today, but old wooden church. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, leaking roofs. But, but when they got together, hallelujah, the Bible says they, they came and they, they all start singing. I can hear them singing, what a mighty God we serve. <laughs> he, he, he didn't have to do it, but he did. And, and the right that you see all of them clapping and singing and waving their hand and telling the Lord, thank you, Lord. You bought us out of the cotton fields. Lord, you bought us out of the corn patches. And you gave us a song to sing this morning. And we're going to sing, amen, for the, uh, the, the glory of God because God's been good to us all week long. Amen. God, God has fed us when we were hungry. He, he put clothes on our back when we didn't have money in our pocket. Yeah, my brothers and sisters, they had a right to praise the Lord. But today is different. We don't like to praise the Lord. We time him now. All right, Rev. Give me, give me 15 minutes and I'm gone, Rev. But I come to tell you, they, they come to hear the word of the Lord. The teachings from the apostles. But everybody is in a hurry now. Just give me a nickel dime service and I'm on my way. But I, let me tell you sometimes, the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. I renew their strength. Hallelujah. Hey, I, I can see our four parents getting up, my brothers and sisters, and say, you don't know like I knew what the Lord has done for me. He, he, he opened the way for me, and I got to praise him. Hey, somebody say, hold my mule. I got to praise him and tell the world that the Lord that I serve, he is able. He's able to take you through. Hallelujah. Anybody know he, he, he'll take you through it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our scripture, we see, uh, my brothers and sisters say, they devoted themselves to the apostle what? Teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and what? Prayer. Prayer is important. Why is it that we don't like to pray? When we say pray. I can't pray. Rev, I don't know how to pray. Let me tell you. Rev, see, the devil will hold you. He will keep you in bound. He will bind you. But let me tell you, the Bible says, look what it says. Now the church, can't you see? I want you to see. Not what I said, but the church, when they came together, they what? Break bread together. Hallelujah. The old church was sitting where? Over here. And when they had them unions, we went out under them trees. <laughs> uh, they had boxes. They, they bought their box. She bought her box. He, she bought her box. Amen. They bought their box. And everybody got out. What a time. What a time. Hallelujah. Anybody remember that besides me? <laughs> but, but, but let me tell you. They had it, all things in common. If you had, I had. Hello, somebody. Amen. They, 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 they share with what they had. And see, when you got the love of God in you on the inside, hallelujah. You, 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 you just can't, can't stand there and see somebody, amen, with nothing. Nothing to eat, nothing to drink. Hallelujah. 
So, uh, come on, boy, get, 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 get some of this Kool-Aid. Get some of this penny drink. Hallelujah. Amen. They will feel, they will feel, and my brothers and sisters, when we got it, we, we, we were just so happy. Oh, my God. I just remember, ah, uh, my brothers and sisters, eating those cakes, those pies. The church had something in common. People who love the Lord, and they want to share with what they had. Let me tell you, it's good to share and help somebody else. Because if you help somebody else, somebody's going to help you. Hello, somebody. Well, the Bible said they devoted themselves and, and what? Breaking bread and prayer. They prayed. Let me tell you. Somebody had been praying for us. We would not be where we are today if they was not praying. Everyone was filled. <laughs> not, not, not one of them was what left. It said everyone was filled with what? All at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers what? Were together and had everything in common. Hello, somebody. And they didn't stop there. The Bible said they sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Hello. Don't, don't get quiet on me. Every day, the scriptures say, they continually to meet together in the temple's court. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere heart. Anybody heart Sincere this morning. We ain't glad no more. We, 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 we complain now. I don't want that. I don't want that, mama. I don't want that. Boy, if you would come up in our time. Yeah. They, they fix that plate. You, you, you going to eat it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Amen. My mama had a strong right hand. And buddy, when she let it go, <laughs> it'll knock you off your feet. <laughs> you ain't going to do what? I don't want that, Rev. I don't want that today. I, I want some pork chops. I want some, uh, hello, somebody. They didn't have Chick-fil-A, but we, we had some roosters and hens on the yard. But let me tell you, when they cook them things, and they, they, they let them, amen. I got some taste in my mouth right now. I better go ahead on. <laughs> yep. Praise the Lord. So what do we do at Easter, my brothers and sisters? The Bible say every day they continue. They met together. Amen. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad, sincere hearts. We ought to be praising. We ought to be praising God right now. Praising God. For God, you have blessed us. You blessed us down through the years. You blessed us with so much. And God, I got to give you some praise. Somebody say, I, I, got, I just got to praise him. I, don't, I know sometimes people don't understand why you're praising the Lord. But when you know that you know, I never would have made it. Uh, you never would have made it if it had not been for God on your side. Do I have a witness? Uh, they broke bread in their houses and in their homes, and they ate together, my brothers and sisters. And amen. You know how it is when a, a family eat together. Amen. We start laughing and talking about, oh, how good it is. And, oh, my God. My brothers and sisters, whoa, well, what a time they had. Unity. You see what happened when we come together? Mm, the body of Christ. My brothers and sisters, we are stronger. Amen. We enjoy one another. And those old people enjoy one another. When they got time to spend time with one another, they enjoy one another. I remember my grandfather coming, my granddaddies. They come to my father's house. They sit up and, oh, what a time they had. And we were little children. Amen. We sat around the fire campsite and listen at them. They're talking about, amen. What the Lord have did for them. Amen. 
Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, when the Lord wake you up and when the Lord give you another chance, you got something to tell. Amen, little young people. But here we see these words right in front of us. God waiting on us. Yes, God is a God that waits on us like a child wait on, amen, for his parents. You ever been to the store? And I remember when I was a little child, we would go, amen, down to the fishing beach, hallelujah. And my dad, we would walk, we would, we, they would have ice creams and push up, Brother Green. And I, oh, I wanted that. I wanted that. But you know what? I wanted that, but I didn't get it right there. But I thank God. One day, the Lord made a way. <laughs> Hallelujah. He made a way. He'll make a way for you to get that push-up or that ice cream or that, that what you, amen, want. Won't God supply and meet your need? Won't God give it to you the desires of your heart? Hello, somebody. God is waiting on us. He, he's like our mother. He's a, he's a mother. He's a father. He's waiting on you to, to come. To come to him and say, Lord, I need you today. I need you in my life. I need you, Lord, each and every day of my life as I go out and come in. Yes, my brothers and sisters, the Bible say, I admit, it took a while for the apostles to get to the point. You remember Thomas. Thomas to see. It took Thomas to see and touch the hole in his hand. Thomas said, I won't believe unless I can touch. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, you don't have to touch. But he said, if you just got a little faith, <laughs> a, a little faith as a mustard seed. Hallelujah. You can just, amen, stand on that my brothers and sisters. I thank God because, amen, God is, somebody say, a good God. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got you and me. He got the whole world in his hand. Hallelujah. So brothers and sisters, we got to continue to go forward. We got to study the word. We got to pray together. We got to come together. And when we come together, let me tell you, we can do mighty things together. We got to lay aside our differences, my brothers and sisters. Everybody don't think alike. But let me tell you, when we get on the scene page, so all right, let's see what this word say. Let's see what the word say. And that's what they did. They saw what the word was saying. They said, you know what? I was wrong. Just you, We all do wrong things sometimes. We, we all say the wrong things sometimes. But let me see. That's why God say you got to forgive. You got to say, brothers or sisters, I, I was wrong. And when you do that, you, 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 you still who you are. You know less. But you, you, you admit that, you know, we are humans and humans going to make mistakes. Do I have a witness? But let me tell you something. Let me tell you. We are waiting. The Bible says oh, we were waiting, amen, in darkness to come. But let me tell you, when Jesus come, the darkness disappears. But let me tell you something else. If we are, we are going to be, amen, sorely disappointed in our lives, haven't changed on that day. My brothers and sisters, we're going to be disappointed because Jesus said he was coming back. And every eye one day will see him. Every tongue will confess. Every knee will bow. And I don't know about you, but do you want to see the signs and wonders of God? I say, do you this morning want to see the signs and wonders that God's word speak about? Well, I think it is possible. He said, even probably that those things do and can happen right in front of us. But wait, my brothers and sisters, there's more Jesus, just like the commercial that sells you whatever it is that you need at an amazing discount price. But wait, he said, if you act now, 
<laughs> you get two for the price of one. Amen. Anybody have heard that commercial? In this case, the key phrase is, if you act now. Yeah, if you act now. If we go back to that scripture, verse, the order that things happen is very important. The first thing is the believers of Christ devoted themselves. Hey, I say the first thing, the believers, they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles. Second, they devoted themselves to fellowship with each other. Fellowship is important. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Leaning on the Lord. That means they spent their free time together. They laughed together. They cried together. They ate together. They learned together. And then the Bible said they prayed together. Hallelujah. It's good when you see a family praying together. The Bible said, someone said a family that prays together, why? Yeah, they stay together. Why? Because when you pray, he says, say what? Our Father. Our Father. My brothers and sisters, on Sunday morning, we got down on our knees. My dad, mom, all of our sisters and brothers, we got down on our knees. And he will lead us in the prayer, Lord's Prayer. Hallelujah. It's good to pray. Why? Because God answered prayer. Does he? Won't God answer prayer? I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. Hallelujah. They were praying for it. Lord, it's, I hope it won't be like this always. God, make a way for my children. Hallelujah. God, you know what they need, and we're going to trust you. Lord, today, that's why we are kneeling. We bind down on our knees and telling you, Lord, please help us. We need you. Brothers and sisters, the church, we need one another. We need the Lord most of all. When we are walking in this life, we're going to have some bad times and good times. But when we are walking together, we can encourage one another. When we fall down, we can lift one another back up and say, get up, dust yourself off. Go on down the road. The Lord will take care of it. He'll fight your battle. Won't he fight your battle? Hey, I say, won't he fight your battle? Hallelujah. Man, uh, somebody ought to be getting out of their car and not running. I see you, Deacon. I see you, Deacon. Uh, I, I see. Hallelujah. You ought to be running now. Tell us, oh, man, the Lord made a way. When I didn't see a way, he made a way. Has he made a way? Yes, I know. He made a way for you. Look what you're sitting in this morning. Hallelujah. God made a way. He gave us nice cars, automobiles. Amen. You know where they come from? Our mothers and fathers. They're sleeping now. They're resting. But they say... Hallelujah. We had to sweat and talk, but they, 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 they made it possible for us to be where we are to today. And oh, I thank the Lord. They didn't have the education that we have, but you know what? They had good common sense. Ah, yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, God is a good God. I don't know about you, but I want to see his wonder. Amen. And speak God's word. Uh, when I think about the goodness of God and all that he done for me, uh, my soul cry out, hallelujah. But wait, my brothers and sisters, uh, the believers of Christ devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles. And second, they devoted themselves to the fellowship with each other. That mean, I say, they spent time together. And oh, what it is. It's a good time when we spend time together. And look what happened. The Bible said the signs and wonders, the healing, the miracles, 
the acts of God in their amen lives. God showed up. Won't he show up? I say he'll show up. There we are. It is pretty painful, brothers and sisters, if we truly expect to experience Jesus Christ in our lives. If we truly wish to have him be a part of us, our thinking, our family, our everything, if we truly want those miracles, those signs from God, those wonders that scripture speaks about, what are we to do? Well, it looks, I say it looks to me like two things, and I'll be through. Only two things. Number one, first, they devoted themselves to the apostle teaching. <laughs> uh, and second, they devoted themselves to fellowship. Hallelujah. You got to want a fellowship with your brothers and sisters sometime. Yeah, everybody can't be here all the time, but you ought to be here. You ought to say, I want a fellowship. Let me say, no man live to himself as an island. Everybody needs somebody. Do I have a witness? My brothers and sisters, two, two heads are better than one. Hallelujah. I come to tell you, my brothers and sisters, when we follow God's instructions, God will, yes, he will, he'll seal through. Yes, they devoted themselves. You got to devote yourself. You got to devote yourself to the apostles' teaching, to the word of God. Not my word, but his word. Bible say, amen, they broke bread together. And then they prayed. It's a good time to pray right now. Our world is in an uproar. It's a good time, I say, to pray for one another. Do I have a witness? I don't care what color your skin on, but let me tell you, prayer works. Hallelujah. Yeah, God will hear your cry. Do you realize that he is Alpha and Omega? Do you realize that he is God Almighty? Do you realize this morning he's a great teacher? Do you realize this morning that he lives? Because he lived, you and I live. Do I have a witness this morning? Do you know that God called? He calls the followers of his son. He called us to follow his son, Jesus, our Savior, to spend some time together, eating together, and praying together. His word doesn't lie. Do I have a witness? Uh, and it is easy, my brothers and sisters, to read. Although, my brothers and sisters, I admit, we often forget to follow through after Easter. I say, what do we do after Easter? I'm glad this morning that God will, uh, he'll show up. And when he show up, he'll show out. Uh, am I right about it? I come now to tell you that Amen. When we're walking, let me remind you, you're not walking by yourself, but Jesus is walking with you. Somebody say he'll hold your hand. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say he'll, he, he'll put your enemy uh, on the run. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, I know this morning uh, that he made a way for us. Not only uh, you and I, but he made a way uh, for the United States of America. Uh, that's why, my brothers and sisters, uh, we are free. Uh, we are free this morning. Uh, and because we are free, we can say, thank God this morning. Uh, we are free this morning uh, to serve a good God. Uh, he opened up the windows of heaven. Uh, somebody say he pulls you out a blessing. Anybody need a blessing? Uh, I stop to tell you, uh, he got 10,000 uh, in his hand to satisfy the poor. Uh, do 
to have a witness. I'm glad this morning. It's nothing he will not do for us. When we come together as brothers and sisters and hey, praise the Lord and tell him thank you, Lord, because you've been good. You fed us when we were hungry. You clothed us when we were naked. Is that all right this morning? Won't he do it for you? Yeah, all he want us to do, yeah, is come together. We are too far apart this morning. This morning, my brothers and sisters, we got to come together. We got to hold hands. We got to pray for one another. You remember what they done to King. You remember what they done to Jesus, Mary's baby, while he was hanging on the cross. Hallelujah. The Bible said he looked down from the cross. And he said, Father, Father, oh Father, please forgive them, Lord. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad today that he is a forgiving God? He'll give you a second chance, a third chance, and a fourth chance. All you got to do is say, Lord, I messed up. I'm coming to you just as I am. I've been messed up in this world, but I come to tell you this morning, yeah, he will. Yes, he will. He'll see you through some things in this world. Yeah, just like he walked with these boys on the road to the males, he'll walk with you. Won't he walk with you? Yeah, he'll talk with you. How you know, Pastor? He talks with me. This week as I'm riding on the highway, the Lord told me, slow down, preacher. Slow down. It's traffic out here. Slow down, people. I'm not paying attention. But if you slow down and take heed of the word of God, you arrive. Yes, you will. You arrive at your destination. But when you don't wait on the Lord, hallelujah, it can be a painful thing. Am I right about it? Oh, I thank the Lord because he is. He's good. When he's good right now. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for your glory, for your glory and honor. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad. So what do we do? What do we do, my brothers and sisters? After Easter, we do what his word say. Come together, pray. Let us join hands together, my brothers and sisters, because this is a big world. And let me tell you, time is winding up. I don't know when he's coming, but I know he's coming back. And he say, every eye shall see me. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. My brothers and sisters, if you're here this morning, and you don't know Christ, today is a good day to know him for yourself. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, he's still walking with us. Even in this COVID, amen, pandemic, God is still walking with us. And he made a way for us to worship him. Amen. We can't let the pandemic stop us, but we got to continue to what? Worship God and give him some praise. Because he done so much. Somebody say he done so much for all of us. Amen. And because he done so much for us, hallelujah, it ought to be in our aim heart. Say, Lord, what can I do for you? What could I do for somebody else? Sometimes all that person need is a word of encouragement. Yes. Say, go ahead on, brother. Go ahead on, daughter. Go on, mother, father. It's going to be all right. The Lord will walk with you every step of the way. And when you know that you know that all of my hope, all my hope and trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah. You can go on. Somebody say you can go on down the road. Amen. 
and help somebody as you go that way. Because there's a lot of people out there need encouragement. They need to know that Jesus loved them. And because he loved them, we ought to love also one another. Is that all right? Is that all right? I'm closing now. But I always like to give somebody that opportunity, the chance. Those that early church got together and the Bible said they came together. Amen. They came together, my sisters and brothers, and they break bread and they prayed. And the Bible said, and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Amen. Why? Because they had faith and the people had faith too to believe that it was what? Preaching the truth. Anybody know the truth will set you free? The truth. You don't have to make it up. The truth. Use the word. And the word will do just what he said it would do. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad he opened my heart one day. He opened my eyes. And now my life has never been the same since that day. And ever since that day, my brothers and sisters, I've been going forward. Sometimes up, sometimes down. But I'm still going forward. If Jesus wants you to go forward in life. Amen. He'll help you. Won't he help you? Yes, he will. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you today. Remember, amen. What do we do after Easter? We do what the early church said. They came together. They love. The Lord. And when you love the Lord, you love people. Amen. Regardless of how they treat you, you love people. Amen. And when you love, he said, by this, the world will know that you are my disciples. May God bless you. God, thank you now. Thank you for these moments. We thank you for your word this morning. And thank you, Lord, for reminding us there are some things that we need to do amen at the easter we come now lord telling you god thank you for reminding us when we were walking you came alongside to remind us that we can make it because of you now lord Thank you for your word. It's a lamp unto our path. Thank you because your word is true. Help us to be devoted, to, to devote ourselves to fellowshipping with each other. Not just on Monday, but every day. Because we never know when the hour of time when we will have to go and leave this place. But help us to do it every day of our lives. We love you. We praise you. We ask this in Jesus' name. And the church say, Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you until we meet again. May God bless you. Glad to have you, brother. I see you back there. Glad to have you, brother. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to have you. Come back anytime. Amen. We're glad to have him come worship with us today. And as we go, my brothers, take the Lord with you. Be of good cheer. God will see you through. <laughs>